Welcome to Fixing Assets and welcome to the noisiest place on earth that I'm sat outside of. Um, in this video I'm going to be looking at the brakes on the Beetle. Now the brakes on the Beetle are pretty much all wired in so to speak. There's one pipe that needs looking at again which has been on my list to do for a couple of years I know which one it is and whilst we're in there I'm going to inspect the whole braking system write a list of parts that we need because I've seen a few clips that are missing and we're going to work from there so anyway let's go to voiceover because I don't think we are going to get much quiet with a noisy diesel generator and a big MW3 series that's running as well. As a starting point, this is where we are. We have a res reservoir, a remote reservoir, with two lines for the two separate brake circuits that goes into the master cylinder, which is attached behind the pedal. Now, each of the circuits has the hard lines coming out of there. You can see the front circuit, because it's split front and rear. The front circuit comes out of the side of the master cylinder nearest the front of the car. The rear goes through the hole in the bulkhead along the side of the tunnel and through. Then, as they used to say in the old Haynes manuals, reassembly is the reverse of dismantling, or something like that. So, I've got that pipe there, and I need to put a hump into, um, into the pipe to get over the handbrake tunnel, the handbrake pipe conduit, pipe, whatever it's called. So as you can see, I'm trying to gesture that there's a pipe that it needs to get a hump on. And as you know, um, in my career with the Black Eyed Peas, i.e. Fergie, um, I did sing a song called My Humps. And... I put my humps in the pipe. So, anyway, because it's a, what one would call an arse of a job, we'll have to put it in and adjust the hump and get it right. Anyway, I think I went under it rather than over it as you can see so anyway the right hand side's in and snug so the left hand side needs tightening up now the other thing is as well once it's tight the little recess in the flexi pipe needs to be in a line with the bracket so that it can be held in place as you can see, there was an awful lot of adjustment that had to be made. However, it's a neat job. It's in there. We do need to test it though. So the next task, handbrake lever. Now there's a pin through which the handbrake pivots and that also holds it to the central tunnel. And there should be a circlip on either side of the pin. However, there isn't. So, what we need to do, remove the pin, and that will remove the lever. And as if by magic it's out, it didn't take half an hour of hammering and two gallons of Bulldog BDX. But the handbrake cables are out, so we can now put it back in. And here are the nuts on the end of the handbrake cable holding it to the plate 
that will hold it to the lever. Speaking of which, there's a nice blubber weld and a massive crack that goes right through the lever. There's absolutely no way I can reuse that lever. It's time to go on eBay to find another one. Final job of the day, put a bit of dot 4 into the braking system and see if there's any leaks. If there's any leaks, we should be able to find them. The next day I went up to check on the car and lo and behold there's a nice big pool of brake fluid under the car. Oh sugar. Okay go for it. Yeah. Unfortunately, that leak meant that the big long pipe from all the way at the front of the car to all the way at the back of the car had to be changed. And as if by magic, the pipe got put into position and got put into position the other side. So brake system, the back pipe, the pipe nearest the bulkhead being the one that has just been replaced. I had to move the pedal cluster and that's gone in, it's in the P-clips and it's into the union. The problem with being on a diesel generator is the racket. Now I've got some microphones in the post, no need to worry about that. But currently I've got brake lines tightened up and um, again we're going to leave it overnight see if there's any fluid leaks. I can't see any at the minute. Um, there was one there as well. Um, so I'm going to leave it overnight, see what happens with with the brake fluid. I think I think there's going to be a bit of an airlock in there. Now the other thing I cannot use my tripod because it's still firing the phone across the room um, so we're gonna have to do this in a bit of a disjointed way handbrake lever time now one thing I want rid of them uh, heater controls because well I don't need heater controls the engine doesn't have heat exchangers on um, I may just leave them like, but main thing is get the handbrake sorted. Handbrake sorted, we can then um, talk about other things. This is the replacement handbrake lever. I've gotten a good used original part because it's got the humpy bit on the top of the lever for that plate with the lump in it can't remember what the technical terms are but significantly there's no bad repairs or cracks so that goes in that gap the pin goes through all the holes and as I will mime the circlip there's one on each side which stops it going through the holes that way is the right way around now um, so the next bit that hump there to get onto that bit here. Okay so handbrake is adjusted. So if I just take the brake off there that's free moving. Three clicks, 
that's not moving and we'll go up the other side that's not moving break off that's grand so we can be happy with that until of course we check how the brakes are adjusted overall realistically we shouldn't have done that until I double checked the adjustment but I needed to make sure that it was feasibly going to work so with the brakes just draining a bit of fluid through the system which I'm going to leave for another week the handbrake fitted and working um, I may do a bleeding video but uh, so anyway that's the end of this video so if you're liking the project so far subscribe for more and you'll get even get the treat of um, the um, marina being done and other cars as well